Hey guys, Delphi here again, and I'm back on my character doing an hour a day in Guild Wars 2. And uh, you're yeah, just hanging out in New Finding because it's not like I'm on the run or anything. Uh, anyways, this little thing popped up, said read the mail from Navan, who was the Empress's aide, if you didn't remember or something like that. I'm to you on the behalf, we just learned about the incident. We're really concerned about this maid or death. Face to face meeting. I know of a sushi restaurant. Oh, no, sushi. And a hand drawn map, too. Okay. Does the map actually show it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a map in my inventory. You know, I'm sad. I want that. Oh, anyways. It is. over there. So. Despite the fact that I'm not only am I not Canthan, so I would stick out, I'm also not human, this character, I would also stick out like a lot. I'm just gonna stroll through the city, it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, the meta may be up right now, but that's okay. Oh, I don't know where the noise is coming from. The news thingy was coming from, that's what I was looking for. The noise, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I might be doing some fishing later today. I think. So yeah, a lot of jade sculptures are really pretty. Oh, I had this waypoint? I didn't think I had this waypoint unlocked. Oh well. Mm, where? There we go. Fallout. came straight from Minister Lee. The situation is diplomatically sensitive. The Empress would prefer that no one behave rashly. Ah, Commander, you arrived. Let's take a seat. This is my favorite sushi in Yukainang. I would make a recommendation, but everything is good. You honor us, esteemed Navan. What would you like today? It's just a menu. I'll have the yellowtail and the triple tanaki, please. Ugh. I'll take a bowl of white rice. You don't care for sushi, detective? Don't eat anything that looks like it should still be moving. <laughs> I see. And for you. Oh, I'm going to do this because it's kind of funny. And I think there's an achievement for making this. My cat is crying outside my door right now. I don't know why Detective, I missed her. I understand how this all looks. You mean the fact terrorism follows you around like a bad smell? It's because we've been on the trail of a terrorist, an Aether Blade named Unker. She ordered the Aether Blade attacks and she released Su Wang. Do you have any proof? Any at all? Look, I know you've got a file going on me. You probably already understand me better than I do. True. So what sounds more likely? That I put millions of lives in danger, or that I am pursuing the person who did. Let's hear what Navon has to say. Thank you. Now, everyone, if we could... Commander, I'm afraid I need to ask you to come with me. Captain, we are in the process of negotiating a civil resolution. Humblest apologies, esteemed Navon, but Lady June wants to see to this personally. Detective, can you tell your colleague to stand down? He's not my colleague, he's a gussied up rent -a cop Go back to June 9, Captain Fa. The real police are on the case. Poor cat. Detective, the event in question took place on Junlai property. 
and under the autonomy resolution, a corporate entity may claim jurisdiction to whatever... If the resolution is in the primary interest of the corporate entity. Captain, I need to remain free to pursue the Elder Dragon your corporate entity was keeping under Kynang. Junlai Jade is not now, nor have we ever been in possession of some... Thousands of people saw a dragon emerge from the water near your facility. Please, listen to what the commander has to say. Very well. What do you know? Restraint from a corporate stooge. Oh. Well, heat. And then they're all bobbleheads for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it did this, this as well. It only lasts, well, it lasts five minutes, but anyways, I think I have to fight this guy, so let's go talk to him. June won't be so easily mollified. Oh. You'd better find your terrorists and soon. I didn't realize you were such a smooth talker. You said you have a plan, Navan? Ah, yes. First, where do you stand, Detective? Do you still insist on taking the commander in? No. I've seen and heard enough to convince me the commander's got a job to do. But I'm coming along. If things are as bad as you say they are, well, you need me. If they're not, then I get any sense I'm being played. You're not. I, uh, I borrowed something from the Ministry of Intelligence for you, Commander. <laughs> it will disguise your face, but nothing else. Intel gets all the best toys. I know somewhere you can use as a base of operations. A historic refuge. It's just east of here, in the Echo Vault Forest. The detective and I will go first to clear any potential roadblocks. You, Commander, will meet us at the city gates. So now I have a disguise. Oh, this one will recognize me. His hat is so big in the bubble form. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Although it doesn't. Oh, it does show you this. Okay. You there? We need to talk. I assume this is about the fallout from Junlai Jade. Fallout? They are talking about a tribunal, Commander. Half the ministers want to deport us all immediately. Has anyone been able to smooth things over with June? No. It's taking all my charm to keep her from kicking me out. No one at the reactor was willing to listen either. There was some evidence of an aether blade presence, but no trace of Anka herself. And Aurene's brand is still spreading, hampering repair efforts. I just met with Navan. She has a plan to help. Oh. Which means the Empress is probably on our side. Exactly. Navan is taking me to a sanctuary in the Echovald Forest, somewhere we can plan our next move. Detective Rama's thrown his impressive hat in with us as well. Jory, Rick, meet me in Echovald. <laughs> Kaz, Timey, keep doing what you're this. doing. Let's get on something I can steer a little better. So this is Arbor Stone we're going into. It's kind of neat. I see you got out of Kynan without any trouble, Commander. I'd love to open that disguise tech up and take a little look. Don't even think about it. You break that thing, and the Commander will be on a one-way trip back to Xingjie. So, where's that safe haven you mentioned, Navan? Right behind us. Arborstone. 
My grandma used to tell me stories. Family lorries were part Zuhelzer. They built this place. It was one of the great houses of the Kurziks. For centuries. Until it was abandoned when they were conquered by the Ministry of Purity. Ministry of Purity. Do respect, dicks. ma'am. <laughs> but safe haven? This place isn't exactly subtle. No. But its occupants are no friends of the Canton authorities. You'll be safe here. Come. See the Ministry of Purity. You go there was like Guild Wars Beyond that kinda happened after the main things of Guild Wars and Eye of the North and all that fun stuff, and yeah. They were they were tough, man. They suck fighting them. And they were basically like the they hated everybody that wasn't Canton or human. <laughs> you mean right past the shadow monsters? What? No, oh, it can't be. That one, I was like, oh, go for it, so dark, and I'm like, it just. Don't. Ah, this one's making the insect swarms, they're annoying. It's got a little shield, I don't know, is that? Of course, there's a big Stupid bar. Did somebody spike my coffee with the boga juice? Or was that Mordrum, Brizen, and Brandon all fighting together? I thought so too, but on closer inspection, they appeared to be constructs of some kind, made up of an unidentified magic, not the same one we found in the reactor. Perhaps we should move this discussion into the warded cathedral. Unless you prefer to conduct further research firsthand. Uh, no, that's not necessary. Commander, I'm not trying to panic, but what on Tyria did we just encounter? If they're a new kind of dragon minion, they must belong to Su Wan. Logical assumption, but shouldn't hers be water? Didn't look like any water I've ever seen. You really think the wards will keep them out, Levon? I can't be certain, but I hope so. Um, does it always look this way? No, not at all. I, I don't know what could have happened. I left a powerful guardian in charge. Ishan. Awfully quiet. Was it just Ishan? No, 
We should be hearing laughter and song, and crackling fires. There was a large group taking shelter. Worse being the operative word. If there's anyone here, we'll find them. So we get to search around it. So yeah, this becomes like a, a hub, um, which is handy because you want to teleport, you know, around back here. You get a, you get a little one of these things. I don't know how you get it. I don't know if you buy it or if it's an achievement or what. But it's handy going blue. from mainland to here. Do they all here. choke? No. Take a closer look at the cheeks and lips. Hmm. Swollen. Could be anaphylaxis. Pretty big coincidence if they were all allergic to the same thing. Maybe poison? The only way to know for sure would be to test the food, but we need to get it to a lab. You do forensics? I dabble as a hobby. I enjoy reading about unsolved crimes and seeing if I can solve them. A hobby. in their sleep. Smoldering embers in the brazier. Puts the time of death sometime in the last few hours. I can't really read. It's not letting me inter interact. That, I, you no, know, that is impossible. It's like someone took the square root of negative one and just put it in the sky. What villain would disrespect the laws of physics like this? Really? That's the thing you're hung up on here? Look, the universe has rules. Break those rules and nothing, I mean nothing, makes sense. Nothing can be trusted. Down is up, up is down, water is dry. Am I, am I still Gorik? You are definitely still Gorik. <laughs> Poor Gorik. Oh my goodness. What kind of villain would do that? I love it. Rama's like, that's your problem right now? Physics? Just walk past all these dead bodies? But you know, fix it. This has been murdered. What happened here? They look like they were in the middle of unpacking. His chest is hollow. All the internal organs are gone. But there's no visible wounds. Where the hell did they go? Well, don't look at me. You're the death expert. That's not how that's supposed to go. Oh, some stuff over here, maybe? Oh, here we go. Their faces are horrified. Like they were scared to death. Literally. Poor bastards. Kicked around their whole lives just to die like this. Oh, something over here. Okay. I think it gets bad for you and points it out to you after a while. Where is Ishan? He was supposed to be protecting these people. Seems there was a dereliction of duties. Or he was first to go. You hear that? Came from over there. Should we investigate? Yes, but keep your eyes and ears open. We're not alone here. Uh, 
I don't know what she's doing there. So. I was alone. Everything okay? Ishan? What happened to you? That's Ishan? A salt spray dragon. But it's like those creatures outside. She. <laughs> Oh, so much knockdowns. I don't know. Even they like, let's make the fight longer by summoning things like this. <laughs> oh, but you know, it's good for experience. If you're getting master and stuff. For context for that, where she said we survived the heroes, the, sh the horrors of Shiro took it. Like, that was 250 years ago when he returned. It was sometime before that that the original came. Factions was about That's it. It's over. Sean. I'm 
so sorry I left you to this fate. That was weird. The anomalies vanished. It must have been ambient corruption from the magic in the salt spray. Ishan was consumed by the same power that will take Suwan. And then all of Tyria. The void. The void? The force that emerged from the broken dragon cycle. Which, if not stopped, will unwind reality one thread at a time. Here to tell us how it is you know all this? And what was the magic you used? Never seen anything like it. I have. When Orin shielded me against Balthazar's fire. Who are you, really? You deserve the truth. Suwan said I could trust you, but... But I had to be sure. Suwan? so pretty Kunavan. you're Su Wan's champion I am it's been centuries since I revealed my true form to a mortal the last time well that mortal was a hero much like yourself Guild one who life. saved me from a terrible fate now time is short, but I'm sure you have questions. The Void is raw magic, chaos incarnate. In the beginning, everything was void. Then the Mother Dragon, Su Wan, brought order. Splitting the void into six domains of magic. She could not maintain that order alone. So she took on the domain of water and gave the others to the five elder dragons. It was on that foundation that all material life on Tyria flourished. I'm not certain I can explain it. I become like water. And water can take many forms. It is cool. <laughs> we salt sprays taught ourselves many tricks over the years. This one is not easy for us. But it is certainly useful. There are times when it's easier to protect if you can blend in among those you're protecting. Live their lives. Ishan always said I was spending too much time in that form. Too much time away. But I learned more every day. The chamber that June built siphoned off Suan's growing power and used it to fuel Kantha. You might have noticed that this technology has been unreliable lately. That was because the void was being siphoned off as well, but only into machines, thankfully. Now it's Suwan unleashed. Its tendrils are working out from her to wind their way through the rest of the world. That doesn't sound good. I don't know. She allowed herself to be contained because he was the only possible option. Without the stability provided by the other elder dragons and with that containment chamber destroyed, She'll be overwhelmed. Would it help if we could find another way to siphon off some of that magic? Using Anka's extractor! Yes, that might work. It would buy time, at least. But it means we need to find Anka. Fast. Kaz, Tami, were you listening to what Kunavang had to say? Yes, I have so many questions! Questions we don't have time for now. We need to find Anka. 
She didn't leave us much to work with at the reactor. And the only Asuran troublemaker on Minsex radar is standing right here in front of me. Gorik, <laughs> you know her better than any of us. Any insights into her personality that might help? She successfully lured me into an incredibly obvious trap. It's fair to say I don't know her at all anymore. If I ever did. Ah, uh, hello, Lady Navan. Or Kunavang, I should say. I wanted to tell you about Ishan. He fought it as long as he could. Oh. We're only alive because of him. Thank you. I overheard you all talking, and I think I might be able to help. I'm Uyumi, and I'm a member of the Kestrels, which means it's my job to know everything that's going on in Echo Ball. I need to escort these people to Mori Village, but we can talk when I get back. Yay. Look at this. So pretty. So, yeah, it brings you into Arborstone. Again, I can't remember how you get the... The little portal thingy. Oops, oh, several hours later. Enter the command quarters. <sighs> There's a cat island? Wouldn't you rather see important cultural landmarks that represent the heart of oh, the Oh, was. No, I want to go to cat. cat Island. <sighs> Accurate. I should have left you alone. Listen, Ronnie! I it's an island. No, they were here. Oh. There is Cat Island, by the way. Can't talk to them. Huh, might have to. I, that might spoil something, so I'm not going to do it. But, if you haven't found it, Cat Island is there, I think. Yeah. In Shinji. So let's go in here. He's so fixated on our village. I know. I worry about him too. But I'm keeping an eye on him. I'll make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Oh, you get the portal scroll for doing the story, so you've gotten it. Not yet. We're working hard to track down Anka right now. Understood. We're busy over here too. Oh, busy. Ever since you, oh, ever since the reactor was destroyed, June's been trying to figure out how to fix it. And see what we melt? I did notice you look a little different. Yes. Junlai has an entire med tech division. They make braces for conditions like mine. They're incredible. I feel almost no pain when I'm wearing them. I did a little tweaking to the design, added some extra functionality. June's gonna incorporate my changes into Junlai's next model. Huh. On the second level. Oh, do I have to? I assume I have to go out. So there is, kind of like Eye of the North where you had to build it, there's, except it's a little bit different, there is Arborstone Revitalization, uh, so with Masteries you get it, um, more things in there basically, so. And also, yeah, you get resting when you're in here. Um, it used to be only in a specific spot. Um, and but yeah, you could you could just like log out and come back. Oh, I can't see. Um, but it was yeah, and now it's just anywhere in Arborstone. You get a little experience boost and stuff. So, oh, it's telling me to go here. So I've unlocked it, all of that stuff, obviously. Otherwise, it's generally pretty empty. Even look, a gate to land. Experimenting with this really interesting camp in tech. It's an autonomously driven deconstructor. Breaks down complex items into their component parts. So, what are you working on here? Looks like some kind of Aetherblade tech. The Kestrels found it in Echo Vault, beeping like crazy. I think it's one of those airship transponders Renyak damaged. Uh, there's no way it's from one of ours. 
That outer shell is too new. Ours were old. Garbage. No, it's definitely an Aether Blade transponder. Or was at some point. Only an Aether Blade would splice a wire with a used bandage. How could it possibly be Aether Blade? Ew. Renya could have fixed it up when he got here. I, I don't know. Could it help us find Anka? Maybe. Just need to triangulate the signal destination. You could do that, right? <laughs> Can I do it, he asks. We'll get it done, Commander. Commander, meet me at the entrance when you've got a minute. Hey, Yumi's here with a new report about Anka. So, uh, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Except you didn't. I mean, Commander, I know I should have checked first, but I thought since Ivan didn't have anywhere else to go... No, of course, Ivan. Maybe you can help us track down Anka and the Aether Blades. Right. Uh, speaking of which, where is my captain? Oh, no. Is she with you? He doesn't you? know about my train. Is she... Uh, I mean... Is she... I'm sorry, Ivan. Don't be sorry for Captain Trin. Be sorry for Anka. You're gonna get her, right? I'll get her sooner if we're all Fine. working together. Then I volunteer my services to your crew. If I think of anything that can help, I'll let you know. Alrighty. So yeah, it's, it goes up high. There's like a lot of stuff you can do in here, actually. Like a lot of little achievements and stuff. Um, definitely recommend looking into those if you go. Harbor Stone. There's like a lot of things you can do, so. So they haven't done everything, but. I've done a lot. I trust you and your friends are comfortable. Everybody's happy. The Kestrels have been more than accommodating. This brand Thank you. Hey, Yumi was just telling me that Anka's been Some pretty busy since her little escapade in the stuff. reactor. Putting it lightly, she's been sending Aether Blades to meet with both of the criminal gangs here in Echo Vault. The Speakers and the Jade Brotherhood. Only thing they agree on is they don't agree on anything. Except yeah. working with Anka, apparently. I should pay these gangs a visit. Ideally, without them knowing. I've got Kestrels stationed outside each of their camps. Talk to them. They'll get you inside. I'm gonna head for Mori Village, southeast of Vault. Meet me there when you're done. Oh, and I'm going this way. Okay. Can you say to meet him at the entrance? This is pretty damn far from the entrance. But... So then we get into the third map. Like, Arborstone was kind of... It's like a hub. Like a town, kind of like Lion's Arch or whatever. So, um, and again, like there's a lot of stuff to do in there. And this is Echo Vault, the third map. And obviously, there's a fourth map. Maureen, Kate, did you ever catch up to Su Wan? We did. In the Jade Sea. We're working with the local authorities to keep her from moving beyond Kampha. They didn't trust us at first. The Echo Vault gangs are at war with each other. Anyone who can help, please meet me at Mori Village. Okay. That must be the uh, the meta is happening. That's annoying. Um, so you can go to either the Jade Brotherhood camp or the Speaker camp. The Speaker camp, it's not impossible to do, but it's I find it's a little harder. Um, I'm gonna go off to this one, but I'm gonna grab this waypoint first. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so it unlocks this one for you automatically, which is nice. Incidentally, you can walk back there, it takes you to New Kaimi. Well then. So I don't need a permit. The Brotherhood made their first move! So this is the meta happening in here. So I think there's kind of two little, like there's like a mini meta that happens as well. But anyways. So we talk to this person. 
Let me get a disguise. Thanks. Okay. So then you look like a Jade Brotherhood person. You have to go in here and kind of sabotage them, but you don't. This is like your suspicion. You don't want to raise too much of that, so you got to be careful. Like wait till that person's outside of the. They can't see you, kind of thing. So. So he gives you those, which you can use to pick up goop. Now ideally, you'd be going and giving it back to him, that's what he wants, but uh, no, it's sabotage. There we go. The subject of the order is as of yet unknown. For now, the Ministry is urging everyone to report any and all suspicious activity to your local MinSec office. Now, this also fills up the heart quest, but um, you want to, if you get sus if you get your suspicion level, like, this will go red. Red, I think? And it fills up, and they kick you out, and you can just come right back in. Um, so, sabotage. So, yeah, basically it's just telling you to do the, uh, the heart quest. There is a... Oh, I need a charge. Okay of interest right here that you need a charge for which thought there was one in here I think you can glide but you can't um, you can't mount up And there's an achievement for doing all of the things that you can do in here, so you might want to look it up because I can't remember what some of them are or how to do them. So. Oh, the recruit wants to climb the ranks, huh? How sweet. Here's the battery. <laughs> that load of projectors we delivered already sold out. Really? Should be you you are challenging me? Oh, yeah. Your funeral. More polluted goop. <laughs> Trying to find the stairs. Go back. There's the exit, so it should be out there there. Cool. Oops, see I raised my suspicion a little bit. Oh, here's another battery. Yeah, I'll grab the charge from that to you. Why not? I wanna get rid of this goop. disposal. Alright, let's see, I'm in Mishen's lab. I probably said that horribly wrong, I apologize. And you take this little guy, it's your own Oh, we can go down a little bit. 
enter the vent. And that's the only way to get this point of interest. There is, um... Information on here. Oh. Record data. Oh, I raised suspicion though. Whoops. I guess I can do it again. Oh, because dude is like right there. That is that's a big ass mech. That's um I never noticed that before. Let's do some more information. Where's the vent? There it is. There's also a vista in here, as you've noticed. You have to go up again some more to do that. Up there somewhere. Get to bomb. I think that explodes after a time or something. You are challenging me. Oh no. Ah, uh, so you have 25 suspicion. You get 100 and they kick you in the They don't kill you though, they just kick you. I like how he stopped me from turning it off, but in the middle of the fight, I can just turn it off. <laughs> Some real competition. I like it. All right. Up here. To do. There's the vista. This makes me nervous. I'm like, am I gonna fall? So, you used to work at Jun Lai? Of course. Until I got a better offer from Chul Mu. Didn't you? <laughs> nope. I used to mess with this stuff as a hobby. Got a reputation in the streets for rewiring security firms. Oh, more bulleted fuel. Cool. You can use that to sabotage stuff, so. Alright. There's the Vista. Distract by disrupt the J Brothers operations by hacking machines, causing chaos, setting listening devices, collecting hazardous samples, and beating up anyone who challenges you. Love it. Where's the vista? Thank you. Okay. Woo. Oh, that, that was daily, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> See? I was right to be nervous. Knew it. Oh. Now I'm just carrying a bomb around. That's cool. They're getting hella suspicious now. What's this listening device? I know I saw it. There we go. Okay. Oh, got mail. Hmm. 
Listen to the Jade Brotherhood gossip. I mean, I like gossip. Probably a good idea to make sure it doesn't Minister, do you think our recent border reopening and the uptake in violence are at all related? I do. Ever since the outsiders arrived in camp, we have seen a significant increase in crime. Based on your last public report, the individuals involved in the Shinjai crash are your leading suspects. Yes. Our intelligence has led us to believe that they are well versed in creating havoc. I mean, they do have it a lot. Meeting went sideways real fast, apparently. Aetherblade had some kind of device that revealed a Kesper was spying on us. He assumed it was a setup and that we were planning to cheat him. So, what happened after that? All I heard is that it ended badly for the Aetherblade. Rest of the story is probably in the security log. Oh, it's up. Oh, okay. Speak to the incarcerated spy. Oh, they're on the other side. Uh, don't remember how to get there. Let's see. I feel like I'm going away. Okay, but mm, maybe. Hopefully I'm not too lost. Okay, so then this part's easy enough. I kind of like that there's a lot of like open world stuff that you have to do because you get to explore the maps and stuff. Commander, like I got heart, you know. They've captured an eighth of the uncle was after her stolen tech, not the pirate's life. And she backed out. Doing the pirate. While also ensuring the gang kept the stolen technology. Commander, we found the Aetherblade's camp. 
Seems Anka's long gone, but there might still be some clues on site. Excellent work. I'll head over there soon. Get a look at their defenses. A score of angry sky pirates with swords and guns. Nothing you can't handle, if I may be so bold. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this one's got you figured, Commander. Okay, so this map, a lot of people will be like, oh my god, this is like Tangled Deaths 2.0 because it's up and down and there's, you know, getting to this, you have to go this way. And But I will say that, like, these roads do lead places. This obviously is above, which it tells you, which is nice. Um, I'm going to just go down the road. But, like, sometimes in Tangled Depth, you'll be following a road and it just leads nowhere. And you're like, oh, this, like, if you're like, oh, hey, it looks like this road goes to a certain place. It probably does. In Tangled Depths, crapshoot. Like, it might go into a cave, it might just end, it just, uh, These roads are fairly well, when you see them, like, they go kind of in that area. I'm going right into the meta. <laughs> I wonder if I can get in there and poke them. I don't wanna- I wanna- I don't wanna be there, I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I just missed it. Oh, I'll still miss it. I miss. I get the- I get the chest! <laughs> I just don't get the main chest, but I get the little chest. It's kind of long. Can you stop fighting and listen to me? We all need to work together. Look at this. Anything left of Echo Ball for you two to squabble over. If you put the minds of the Brotherhood on the problem, we'll have it solved in minutes. <laughs> and your solutions are more likely than not to send us spinning closer to oblivion. I'll need to be there to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, that's probably the best I'm getting from you two, isn't it? Hmm, okay, I might be a little lost. Like, it's not 100% super easy to nav navigate, but... Here we go. I mean, there's arrows pointing me where I'm going. Oh, hello, champion. I don't think I need to fight him, but... Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't come in here and try to fight me. I don't really want to fight that champion right now. I'm gonna go away in a few minutes. <laughs> So we investigate inside here. Oh, here's another recording. First thing that happens when we make camp, the locals have to show their proof. Who was in charge? Two of my pirates got caught, and mostly I tried to But I'm not that and lucky. You know they made Mullis that day. They've been salvaging parts. There's something very wrong with it. Then they have captured, captured it took the boys and stung us. But I should be realistic. Even if I get those parts. Oh, there's a corrupted Moa. So, Anka's trying to rebuild their mist portal device. Each of the captured Ace of Blades had a piece she needed. Then that mystery airship appears with a working model on board. Anka cancels the negotiations and turns her focus to finding the airship. Which means we should probably find it first. Hey, Commander, it's Ivan. Yo, from work? I think me 
<laughs> oh, I can't ever leave there. Where can we all meet? I've got my hands full with the speakers in Jade Brotherhood, so I have to sit this out. Rama's waiting in our village. We're on our way. Mori Village. Okay, I know we're getting a little over the time. But I'm gonna try to make my way down to Mori Village real quick and then we'll end it. So yeah, there's some things that are up above and stuff like that for map completion and stuff. You can fly around in your sky scale, that makes it a little bit easier too. But yeah, if you're like, ah, oh, I can't figure it out, like just you, you can see, like I'm going, where am I going? Over here. So I kind of went the wrong way, but yeah, like this leads me in that general direction. Or I can go here and this way, kind of thing, you know? Just what I might try to do. I'm also bad at reading maps, so I'm like, I'm gonna go this way and then I'll go completely another way, because. Yeah. <laughs> it's just how I roll sometimes, but. I did map completion in here a couple of times, and after a few first few times, you're like, oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> the first time, you're like, oh, Tangle Depths. Which, Tangle Depths is a lot better, too, with, uh... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tangle Depths is a lot better with Skyscale. <laughs> There is also a lot of things trying to kill you, but yeah. But you can run past a lot of them, like they're not as tough. Alright, I'm not going to go up to where oh, I'm going to go over here and get the only point, and then we'll start the story next time. There's an achievement here for doing this heart, like some of the things you have, you have to collect. Um, you help merchants craft their wares, that changes I think every day, and there's three things you have to do for it. Um, you collect like three or four things and you make it, and it, once you do three of them it counts as an achievement. So. Just be aware of that as well. But like I said, we are at that time, so I am going to stop here. And um, yeah, when we come back, we'll regroup with Rama at Mori Village. I mean, I know we're almost there, but yeah, we'll go up and find him. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.